Determine the horizontal and vertical intercepts for each graph below. The intercepts must be written as ordered pairs. Remember, an ordered pair is in the form of x comma y in a set of parentheses, or if we want, the input comma the output in a set of parentheses. And we always find the x values or inputs along the horizontal axis and the y values or outputs along the vertical axis. If an intercept does not exist, write DNE. If a graph has more than one horizontal intercept, use a comma to separate them. Looking at the first graph, let's determine the vertical intercept. The vertical intercept is the point where the graph intersects or crosses the vertical axis or y-axis, which is this point here. And now let's find the ordered pair for this point. To find the x value or input, we move vertically to the horizontal axis. Notice how this is where we find zero on the horizontal or x-axis, and therefore the first value of the ordered pair is zero. And now to find the y value or output, notice how this point is on the vertical axis, and therefore the output is negative four. The vertical intercept is represented by the ordered pair zero comma negative four. And now let's find the horizontal intercepts, which is where the graph intersects or crosses the horizontal axis. And notice how the graph intersects the horizontal axis or x-axis in two points, at this point on the right and this point on the left. Let's find the ordered pairs for these two points. Because these points are on the horizontal axis, we know the x value or input is negative two for this point. And for this point over here, we know that the input or x value is positive two. From either point, notice how if we draw a line directly to the vertical axis or y-axis here and here, the y value or output is zero, which means the order pair for this point is negative two comma zero, and the order pair for this point is two comma zero. Any point on the horizontal axis will have a y value or output of zero. For the horizontal intercepts, we enter the ordered pair negative two comma zero comma, and then the ordered pair two comma zero. Let's look at our second example. Let's first find the vertical intercept, which should be this point here because this is where the graph intersects or crosses the vertical axis. To find the x value or input, we move vertically to the horizontal axis here and notice how the x value or input is zero. And because the point is on the vertical axis, we know the output or y value is positive two. The ordered pair for this vertical intercept is zero comma two. And it is true for any vertical intercept, the x value or input will always be zero. And now let's find the horizontal intercepts, but notice in this case, the graph does not intersect across the horizontal axis, and therefore this graph does not have any horizontal intercepts. And in this case, we are told to enter DNE. I hope you found this helpful.